Alright guys, what's up? It's Tutorial Countdowns back with another video and today is actually going to be a part 2 to how to get the Elemental Tail Gems. So I'm going to be showing you a build that I came up with that's actually higher part damage so that way it'll be easier on you guys and I'll go fully in depth with everything I have going on. Alright, so I'm going to have on Light's Crown, Light's Virtual, Drascale Gauntlets, Light Walkers, and the Thundering Blade. Alright, so the Thundering Blade's unique effect is it has 25% more damage against Behemoth Tails. So I'm going to be using Sharpen because that's also an increase to part damage. And then we have the Light's Crown with Cunning on it, so that way you can get the critical damage in. Now the boots, you could change these actually, I might do that. Uh, actually, no, nah, it's pointless. I don't have a piece to hold the thing that I need. Because it's really good to have on the molten thing for this boss. The molten cell. But yeah, so. We have 12% critical strike chance, 25% more part damage, plus the additional 25% to the tail. So that's really helpful. So that's a total of 50% more to his tail. And then, just like the first video, if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. We're going to be doing Firebrand Cherog, because he, in my opinion, is the easiest boss to break their tail. Oh, I accidentally clicked on public. But yeah, so once I get into it, I'll get back at you guys once I'm in there, and I'll do the full walkthrough. Not even really a walkthrough, just on what you got to do. So you gotta break his tail within two minutes, that's the big part. I'll see you guys when I'm in there. And as you can see guys, the boss is straight ahead of me. And also one thing I forgot to mention, I have on adhesive hilt, so that way you can't be stunned out of your ultimate. And then I have on, I believe it's called whirlwind or something. Um, it's the one where you spin around, you'll see it as I'm going through it. Tear that tail up. You gotta break it within the two minute time limit. If I could get from under him, that'd be great. If he quit running from me, that'd be nice too. See, we're getting some good damage off there with that ultimate. The sword is only at 340, it's not even maxed out yet. Ooh, that, that's gonna mess up the time a little bit, but should still be able to get it done in the time limit. Oh, yeah, one thing I keep forgetting too make sure to use your lantern. I keep forgetting to use it. And there you go, elemental tail gym. So you just gotta make sure you get that tail and this is probably a better build. I should have looked more into all the gear before I did this. But now it's a lot easier for you guys because I'm showing you a more efficient way. I'll just get back to you guys once I'm finished killing the boss. Alright guys, and we're back. I just slayed him. And as you can see right there, an elemental tail gem. And Firebrand Cherog. So, if you guys need any help, just let me know. You can see my gamer tag at the top left. I play on PS4, but you can always add me through Epic Games. It's exactly the same as my gamer tag. And yeah, as always guys... I hope you found this useful and helpful. I went more in depth in the build for you guys. 
because I got a lot of comments asking about it and if you need help like I said just let me know just add me slide me a message or something I'll help you guys out but like comment subscribe show your boy some love and that's about it for this video peace out